<laughs> Did you hit the record button already? Yeah. It's a little crooked. Oh. Since we're in the middle of a global pandemic right now, we thought the most important thing we could possibly do today is figure out how fast our dog can run. Wait, listen. Wait, don't look at her. Yeah, she's just pretty much a D1 athlete. If she was in school, she would have a full ride scholarship. Before we do the sprint though, so your top speed, some warm up. That's perfect. Oh God, Pepper. Since we don't have a radar gun for our little friend here, we have to make a racetrack and we're going to use the speedometer on the four-wheeler to measure how fast she can run. I hope you know it's not lost on us how lucky we are to be at Tim's parents' house that has all this property and we have a four-wheeler here during quarantine. So we're just enjoying some mid 50 degree weather and some sunshine because we anticipate maybe some 40 and rainy in the future. <laughs> We're gonna start these with me standing with her, holding her at the start line so that Tim can get the four-wheeler up to speed. I'll let her go and then he'll be able to maybe measure by the speedometer on the four-wheeler. How are you feeling about this? Good. Do you know the Frisbee's on the four-wheeler? Yeah. Okay. that measuring her with the four-wheeler wasn't the most accurate way. So now we're gonna get real serious. We're gonna count off, what do you think, 100 feet? Yeah, 100 feet, what? you can get up to speed. Right at Wait, the why, side. tell us why like your family has that in case people don't know. You know, commercial plumbing, construction, <laughs> that sort of thing. Okay. Whoa, whoa, we're off by an inch. Let's get accurate. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna measure off 100 feet. Wait, 100 feet, like what? Just like, is 100 feet a measurable amount? Like if, like, are we timing her? Like, you know, if she ran a hundred yards in X amount of time, we would know. Okay, so yeah, a hundred meters is like 300 something feet. So that's like just too far for right now. So is, is a hundred feet measurable? Yeah, a hundred feet measurable. We'll just convert it to miles per hour. Yeah, okay. That's what we want anyways, right? Miles per hour. Right. So we came out here today kind of as a joke, but I mean, really? Like, look at this race course. You can't tell the difference between this and like college level right now. It looks really good.
I'm gonna say it's a three seven five. Come on, come on, come on, come on! We can take the average between two. Okay. All right. Now let's go crunch some data. Let's go data crunch. Okay, so I just got off the phone with my brother who was a college football player. He was a tight end at University of Richmond in Virginia. If, uh, since you're probably asking the comments anyways. So he said, oh, you guys did 100 feet, you should have done the, the 40 yard. You know, that's what they use at the combines and everything. So 40 yards is 120 feet. And so since she ran the 100 feet in 3.76 as her fastest time, um, let's say that she would do the 120 feet or the 40 yard in four seconds. So he was saying, a very fast football player would run like a 4-4 four, four, and so she's a little bit faster than a really fast football player. Okay. All right, with the four-wheeler speedometer, I'm comfortable saying she went 23 miles per hour. So that's going to be one speed we can look at. The other, those heats, she ran 100 feet in 4.11 seconds and did it again. I got 3.75, so let's just take the average of those. Finney, 4.11 plus 3.75 divided by 2. Okay, let's say 3.93. So anyways, based on all those calculations, we're going to take, we're going to say 23 is her top speed. 17 is just her comfortable frisbee speed. Plus she already raced a few times, so she's a little tired. I'm going to go with 20... What, like, what a, a range? 17 miles per hour to 23 miles per hour. Let's, let's hop online and see how fast she is. Do you want me to bring my what? laptop? I wasn't in? recording the whole time I was doing that. I was just... Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, according to speedofanimals.com, the leading authority on how fast different animals are. What? Wait, that's amazing. Okay. This is pretty interesting because it breaks down how tall the animal is and then what the relative speed is like. So if a mouse is only top speed of eight miles per hour, it feels like 164 miles per hour. Wow. Unfortunately, we can't punch in Pepper's height because the lowest height they offer is four feet. <laughs> I think it's, they have mouse on there. I know. I think it's for people. There's not oh. a lot of dogs using this website, probably. Oh. Okay, so let's... Well, at least change it to four, even though it says six. Okay, let's do some shopping on here and see what speeds. Okay. She's not as fast as an African wild dog, which has a top speed of 45... The black mamba snake, top speed, 20 miles per hour, pepper safe. Well, Brown bear. It's in her range. It's in her range. But if she was driven by fear, I would imagine she'd be at the top of her range. Oh, yeah. The brown bear, Ursus arctos, top speed, 21.7. Pepper doesn't need to be bear aware. <gasps> she could run away from the bear that whole time? She could run away. And that's the bear's top speed, too. Is that one running? Yeah. Okay, cool. A cheetah can run 74? Holy I mean, cow. Let's see. What else is she faster than? Eastern gray squirrel, 12.4. If she's lost in the woods, she can eat squirrels all day. 29.8. But that's just like a different like shape. I mean, Look honestly. It. That's like a hair. The black bear is kind of the closest in the speed range. Wait, is there a black bear or just the, oh, brown bear. 29.7. Yeah. Now we're relying on factmonster.com, one of my favorite websites. <laughs> Again, it's got the black mamba at 20 miles per hour. Is that like a well-known animal that people know? The black mamba? It's a dangerous yeah. snake. For some more information. This doesn't suck. A human can run 28 miles per hour. I cannot imagine anyone going faster than Pepper, like a human. So it wasn't her range. So. So in conclusion... Pepper is slower than an elephant at top speed, but faster than a black mamba.